So on your journey to 50, mm -hmm. you took this amazing trip to Africa that everyone's been asking you about. Do you feel that that trip kind of like opened up a different side of womanhood for you? Yes. yes. Yeah. How so? Like aging isn't aging in America mm -hmm. as a black woman is not viewed the same as aging yeah. as a black woman from the diaspora. You know, when you are actually on the continent. Yeah. And so whether that was when we were in Tanzania, Ghana, Namibia, or South Africa, it was, you're, you're exalted. Yeah. Like you are lifted up. You are lifted. Yeah. Um, you're not cast off. Yeah. And that was dramatically different. Do you feel like it also kind of gave you like a peace of mind going into your 50? Because I feel like whenever a woman turns 50, especially in America, they're like, oh my God, you're 50. It's like, uh, yeah, but I'm living, I'm beautiful, I'm alive, and like, you know, all the things. But like, do you feel like it gave you a peace of mind going to like the motherland? Always, because I mean, I've been many times, and every yeah. time I land, I'm like, I'm me. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not a version of me, I am me. And so that alone gives me peace because it's clarity, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that my next 50 years was going to kick off on the continent. That part. Um, trying to hit as many places as possible and take like my mom and my aunt and my friends and you know my daughter, like all of these people, so they could experience the peace that I have experienced every time mm -hmm. I've, I've gone. It looks like peace and fun. <laughs> yeah, we always, yeah, we always gonna have fun. We always gonna have fun, but. Um, it was interesting, like watching D emerge from the river. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't even. Have, I don't even know if I still have the words to like describe what what happened. Yeah. Um, Sometimes he, he emerged different. Thing. Yeah. He emerged different. So now that you're 51, but mm -hmm. obviously going on 21 visually, sure. like it's giving. Um, how do you? How does it feel to have conversations? Um, like you had today centered on menopause and do you have any advice for anyone that is going through it right now or about to go through it? Yeah, I mean, well, the reason I keep talking about all the things that I have survived and I am working through things that have been challenging in my life mm -hmm. is to provide community because yeah. as you're going through it, you feel like, okay, this is only happening to me. I'm crazy. I'm defective. Yeah. I'm, you know, whatever. But the more I start talking about it openly, whether that be starting with just friends or family, they're like, girl, every, this is the same. And it's but nobody happening. talks about it. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, well, if I can use my, you know, people around my dinner table having this conversation, yeah. what if I kind of spread it to, you know, the people I can reach on social media? What if I can spread it to the people I can reach talking about it on TV or yeah. whatever? Um, because it can feel very isolating. Yeah. Um, you can, uh, people like to dismiss. Um, women as we age yeah um because of you know patriarchy um which is weird to me because misogyny. i feel like whenever i think of like women like you or the tracy ellis ross in the world like i grew up watching you guys but like you still look the same <laughs> like nothing has changed i'm like wow i mean are you kidding me but the only thing that's changed is like obviously more grace more knowledge and you guys are giving knowledge to so many people that you can do it all yeah. you know what i mean well i think the more transparent you are about your journey the more grace that you are given that it creates the opportunity for empathy which you know hadn't always been there because all of a sudden like your mother or your grandmother just like got enraged yeah. or just took to their bed yeah. you know we all have those relatives that just take to their bed and mm -hmm. it's like you, you just think they gave up yeah but the reality is there could be a physiological reason yeah for what's happening and instead of allowing them to isolate um and feel defective mm -hmm. or you just kind of write them off bring them in yeah and that can only happen if, if we communicate about what is happening that and part. point people in the direction of help yeah um, recently I interviewed your really good friend Tia Mara. she's amazing, I love her. and I asked her, you know, what are some women that really inspire her as a mother, and she said Gabrielle Union, and a few other people as well, and I thought that was so beautiful. Um, so what are some women that inspire you that, you know, have gone through menopause, having those conversations with them, whether it's your mother or your aunt or whatever, um, what are some other women that inspire you to be able to speak to all of us about that? Oh God. Well, I mean, I have to start with my mom. Yeah. My mom and my Aunt Katie, um, they're just very transparent yeah. now. That now. <laughs> yeah. And it's like kind of like, maybe it's like watching me tell the truth and shame the devil and like I just get more. Yeah. Um, they were like, okay, well, this is what really happened. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but the more they've shared, the more I understand self. Yeah. You know? Um, and that's just been, you know, huge. So those are heroes. 
Um, like this morning, I will send it back to Tia because um, mm -hmm. every morning she sends me a different um, meditation mm -hmm. or like, you got it, girl. Like, you got it. Um, and um, it's just, it just helps to like, yeah. to feel normal. You know, yeah. some days when you're like, you wake up with the terror, which yeah. is fun. Um, who else is like really, uh, Sanaa. Uh, oh, Sanaa yeah. Lathan, she's in my phone as Hippie Baby. Uh, she's <laughs> a Hippie Baby, but her and her mother, her and her mother um, have always been a source of like information and yeah. I mean, they make me very proud, but like just how they communicate yeah. in a different kind of less clinical way Definitely. about some of the other changes that we face mm -hmm. in life and how and the other ways that we can deal with it outside of you know uh, the like the medical yeah. ways like it's holistic mind mm -hmm. body soul and it's real conversations with real people mm -hmm. thank mm -hmm. you so much